Man, has it been a long time since I've seen you guys. It's been almost two months and I'm really sorry for my absence. I have been working on a lot of things. I'm currently renting or reviewing a SV Boney camera. And this is the SV605 color camera. It uses the IMX533 sensor, um, which is a Sony sensor. It's what the uh, ZWO ASI 533 Pro uses or the 533 itself. Right now I'm working on a review video which will be posted after this video because it has been taking a little bit of time to get all the stuff. So hopefully tonight is going to be a clear night. It says it's going to be clear so let's just get right back into some astrophotography. My name is Adrian and you're watching the Adrian Astro channel. All right, so a lot of you may be wondering where I've been the past two months, and there has been a lot happening with my astrophotography. Um, now, it has been cloudy for the past two months, and I have been working with SV Boney to lend one of their cameras and review it. They went above and beyond and let me have this camera, and I'm reviewing it right now. Uh, it's taking a really long time so I'm going to be recording this video and getting it out before I release my review video because this review is taking a long time. Now the next thing was my RA motor was broken as many of you know and I just bought replacement parts and I put it in and I soldered everything back on and it works perfectly fine. Now there's no more clicking when it's slowing and hopefully there's no more tripod hits and motor stresses that happen because I really do not want to keep replacing motors because they are getting expensive. A lot of you, I've realized, don't follow my Instagram page. I have an Instagram page and it is adrian.astronomy and I'll link it below in the description. I post a lot of updates on there with my camera, uh, equipment, my gear. Uh, sometimes I post photos of my gear and I post a lot of photos of my astrophotography that don't make it to YouTube on there. Now I also provide updates in the community page on YouTube. If you want to go look at that, uh, there's quite a few uh, updates on there. Let's just go ahead and talk about what target we're shooting tonight. Now we're going to be shooting NGC 2024 or the Flame Nebula. Now the Flame Nebula lies in the constellation Orion and it is super bright. It's a LRGB target but I'm going to be using a UHC filter to combat the light pollution in the southern sky. Because yeah that's what we're going to be shooting tonight. Uh, we may get the horse head nebula in the photo but I don't believe that that's going to make the final cut on my image but we'll see how it goes. All right so let's go over my gear. Now right here is my SV Boney SV605CC. This is a IMX 533 based camera. Um, and it's got a cooler and I'm going to be cooling down to minus 20 Celsius or minus 4 Fahrenheit. Now here is my trusty Skywatcher Evil Lux 62 ED uh, for my main telescope. Uh, we'll be shooting UHC filter which is just ultra high contrast. Here we've got my SV Boney 50 millimeter guide scope with my ZWO ASI 120mm mini. Down here we've got my trusty mount which is the Explore Scientific iXOS 102. And here everything is ran with this Raspberry Pi 5 running Stellar Mate. All right, so we're coming up on our first exposure. Guiding is looking good. We're about to get our first five minute sub. Uh, I'm shooting five minute subs, uh, gain 200, offset zero at minus four Fahrenheit. It's freezing out here, so let's go ahead and see what our photo looks like. Looks really good. You can actually see a lot of filament on the flame nebula there wow looks good here is a closer up if you can't see the filament it's right there looks really good uh there's the horse head nebula and i've got a little bit of reflection on my stars and that's just partly because i'm using a a cheap filter and it's not a anti-reflective filter but Hopefully we'll get around nine hours of exposure time on this target, and that's plenty, especially with a UHC filter and how bright this target is. 
But yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys in the morning and we should have a final stacked image. I'll do bias, flat, darks, and light frames. Uh, I'll stack with Cyril. And yeah, so I'll tell uh, you guys about that whenever I see you again tomorrow morning. All right, good night. Okay, so this is my final starless stack. Um, this is not my final image at all. This is just a uh, look on what the image has inside of it. Now, if you look, uh, it's very noisy. So this is not all this uh, nebulae around all the stuff, like how there's this hidden H alpha here, uh, all up on here, up here. It's not going to make the final cut because I need to uh, have the background a little bit dark. And so it's going to cut off a lot of this um, hidden nebulae. But this is the um, filament that I was talking about going around the star. And we've got a lot of filament spreading out this way on the flame nebula. Now the horse head nebula looks incredible. Look how sharp that is. You can see all of the dust and filament in the nebulae itself and all of the H alpha around the target. Now there are tons of nebulae in this image. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in one little crop. This is a lot of nebulae. The Orion constellation has, I think, the most nebulae in a constellation in the night sky and yeah so this is our final image ish um i'll re i'll always reveal the actual final at the end of the video but this is just what i wanted to show you guys what this camera was capable of in just one night of exposure and it actually came out really good i'm really pleased with how it came out here goes the image reveal until i see you guys next time clear skies